Uh, I'd like to ask you about wages. Uh, you, uh, your company made a lot of waves earlier this summer when you uh, increased the average pay uh, to $15, so up about $2 in many parts of the country. What happened after you raised those prices? Uh, excuse me, the wages. Wages, yeah. So, uh, you know, look, one of the things that was clear to us is the business was just responding as COVID requirements were being uh, lifted, okay? And our current employees were getting overwhelmed by the amount of demand they were dealing with. And we were having a hard time attracting new employees to start working. And what we didn't want to have happen is we burn out our existing employees. So, you know, we've got great benefits, right? We have debt-free degrees. We've got mental health uh, benefits. Um, you know, we've got a great purpose for our employees. But one thing that came back was, hey, look, we need to increase wages if we want to get people to come back to the restaurant industry uh, for a myriad of reasons. And when that became clear, we decided to move the wages up um, to be on average $15. And fortunately, the combination of that starting wage was very compelling the great benefits, and then the opportunity where in like two or three years, you can find yourself running a Chipotle restaurant, making over $100,000. Um, that resulted in a lot of people applying and a lot of people getting hired. And also really importantly, uh, it took a lot of the pressure off our existing employees. So it made their job much more tolerable. Hmm. Uh, as you noted, the average is 15. Some employees are, earn less than that. Uh, I believe 11 maybe is your bottom point. Uh, why not take everybody to at least 15? You know, I think what will happen is over time, wages will continue to rise. But what we always look at is the marketplace, what's competitive to get, um, you know, the starting employee that we need. And uh, that varies by market. You know, in markets like New York City and D.C., we're paying well above $15 as a starting uh, wage. So uh, we always want to be competitive. What we find in the market is we're usually the leader and uh, we like that position and we'll continue to be a, a, a leader in wages as well as total opportunity. And that's what really matters to the employee. What we hear over and over again is they want a great opportunity to start and where that opportunity can lead them to. And uh, so that's that's really the path we've been on. As you likely know well, uh, President Biden has been vocally supportive of a $15 minimum wage. Uh, would you support that nationwide or would you have concerns about that number? You know, look, if that's what ultimately um, needs to be done, uh, fortunately for us, I think if we stage that in the way it's been staged in a lot of other com you know, communities or you know, counties, uh, it's definitely something that can be executed. Uh, it's hard to just throw a switch, though, and uh, change wages to a new minimum wage that moves, you know, in a dramatic fashion. But, uh, you know, if that's where we need to get to in order to ensure employees have a great um, experience, we'll figure out how we get there. Um, you know, we've always figured out how to invest in our people and we'll continue to do that.